Hello and welcome to Jamaica TV, where we give you all the latest news. Now for the details. The judiciary is in mourning for the second time in a month, as COVID-19 has claimed the life of another parish court judge. Aris Mitchell, who was assigned to the St. Elizabeth Parish Court, passed away at the Mandeville Regional Hospital on Thursday morning. The Director of Public Prosecution, Paula Llewellyn, confirmed Mitchell's passing during the opening of the Home Circuit Court for the Michaelmas term on Thursday. The news came nearly a month after the passing of Senior Parish Judge for St. Anne, Stanley Clark. Thursday's sitting of the St. Elizabeth Parish Court was adjourned following Mitchell's passing. Grief counseling is reported being provided to the court staff. Firefighters are at the Edna Manley College of Visual and Performing Arts in St. Andrew, where a fire of unknown origin broke out on the institution on Friday morning. Reports are that about 9.30 a.m., an alarm was raised after smoke was seen coming from a building on the college grounds. Sources report that several students who were in their classes had to make a ace retreat after the fire alarm was raised. Three fire units are at the location trying to extinguish the blaze. Opposition spokesman and energy, Philip Paulwell, has warned that the new electricity tariff announced by the Office of Utility Regulation, OUR, will cause hardship to domestic users, decrease business competitiveness, and force more illegal connections on the national grid. The OUR on Tuesday announced that it has granted an average 1.4% increase to light and power company. On Wednesday, while addressing the Parliament, Paul will urge the government to use its influence to pressure the JPS to put a pause on the increase. The government has a 20% stake in the JPS. A 1-2% to 2 increase granted by the OUR was unwarranted, as most consumers are already experiencing an increase in their monthly bills due to staying at home more, increase in fuel prices, and IPPP charges said Paulwell in a subsequent statement on Thursday. Paulwell argued that JPS is not losing money and has continued to gauge consumers throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. The Member of Parliament from East Kingston and Port Royal noted that matters have been made worse as citizens added to utilize more power for work from home, online classes and domestic appliances. The government must therefore consider this pandemic-related consumption as a reason to ease the pressure on consumers. I am suggesting that we instead freeze electricity prices at current levels pending completion of the review, Paulwell said. The Ministry of Housing, Herbal Renewal, Environment and Climate Change is encouraging citizens to participate in the National Tree Planting Initiative being executed by the Forestry Department. The government is encouraging every Jamaican man, woman, child, everybody to plant a tree, whether inland or on the coast. It is very simple but important activity, Minister Charles said. He explained that the tree planting initiative will help the nation safeguard food security, water security, conserve biological resources, and assist with the adoption and mitigation of the effects of climate change. The National Tree Planting Initiative was launched by the Prime Minister Andrew Olness on October 4, 2019. The objective is to plant 3 million trees within three years.
to support national development in the areas of climate change and reforestation to increase forest cover and establish high-volume urban green spaces for all Jamaicans. Through the initiative, the government wants to create an understanding of the importance of trees and the synergy between human and plant life, resulting in a change of behavior, starting with our children up to our adults, in terms of how we interact with, protect, and treat our environment, the minister expressed.